Unit 2 Sports Reading C Ashok Rathor's Football Oscar It's early morning on a Sunday and an excited group of boys play football in the back garden, a large ground in Kolaba, South Mumbai. Both teams are wearing colourful jerseys printed with logos that say Oscar Education with a Kick. At 23, Ashok Rathor, short and curly-haired, is the oldest of the players. Unlike the others, he is also yelling instructions on how to kick or pass and egging the others on. Ashok isn't just playing for his team, nor is he the fastest or the most skillful footballer here. Yet, the boys in both teams follow his lead and take directions from him. Today's first goal scorer is Anil Chauhan, tall and well built. He's from nearby Ambedkar Nagar, a sprawling slum colony of about 12,000 people. Anil had, like many poor urban kids, dropped out after a few years of primary schooling. Years later, when he started working as a housekeeper in a bank, he realized his mistake. I didn't know how to read or write and couldn't even sign my name, says Anil, who enrolled at a night school last year because of Ashok Rathor, his neighbour, who plays football with him thrice a week. It doesn't matter that I am only in class 5 and 22 years old, says Anil. Many of the other players too went back to school because of Ashok, who started these football sessions five years ago. When Ashok was a child, his father, Shankar Rathod, a fisherman, regretted that his daughter and older son had dropped out of school. At one point, Ashok too wanted to quit, but his father insisted that he continued, much against the neighbourhood norm. Ashok talks of how little value his peers and many of their parents placed on education. I saw boys regularly drop out of our municipal school, recalls Ashok. Some left during a morning interval and never returned. As for the girls, a good many don't attend school anyway. The dropped out boys used to hang out at the nearby Sassoon Docks, Mumbai's biggest fish market. They would steal or pick up fish that had fallen from baskets to sell and make easy money. And whenever or however they brought in some cash, Ashok explains, the parents considered it clever. Worse, Ashok watched many of those boys squander these ill-gotten profits on drink, cigarettes and gambling. In 2006, after finishing high school, Ashok got a job with Magic Bus, a Mumbai NGO, which sent him to the city's poorer areas to mentor children. That's how he realized that team sports, particularly football, forged friendships and called for discipline. It also had overall a positive effect in the children's lives. Why not do the same for the boys in my neighborhood? Ashok thought. He offered to teach football to a few boys he knew. In exchange, he told them to promise not to miss classes. On a Sunday in October 2006, he got a ball and invited the kids to play. 18 boys turned up. Ashok called his group OSCAR or the Organization for Social Change, Awareness and Responsibility. Ashok, who learnt about football at Magic Bus, began teaching them the intricacies of the game. In between, he would also slip in stories about his childhood friends who had dropped out of school. If you want a future, you have got to study. He urged over and over again when they met to play on weekends. Stay in school. I don't want you to end up like them. Meanwhile, Ashok was nervous about telling his family about Oscar and his football sessions. What if his father objected? Since he was doing his higher secondary and working as well, 
Shankar Rathor would expect his son to spend his weekends catching up on school work. Ironically, on the same days when Ashok was telling younger boys to study, there were other problems as well. Even if a boy wanted to return to school, it was often difficult convincing parents. He says, in many cases, I had to go over and persuade them, often taking others with me. But once, after a few football players. failed their final exams their parents blamed ashok football had become a distraction they complained as if nobody in their slum had failed before some of the parents gathered outside my home and shouted abuse he says it was scary that's when ashok's father came to know about it at all he warned his son to be careful but the incident only made ashok more determined he enlisted the help of two ngos to have those boys tutored for free in english hindi and mathematics these ngos also helped ashok get more kids back in school besides a few supportive ngos oscar gets individual donors to sponsor his footballers who are now part of eight teams in all age groups of the mumbai football league every child on an oscar team has to abide by one rule they have to attend school regularly and stay there and oscar doesn't want just great football players says ashok we want good human beings today Five years after that first game, about 150 boys from Ambedkar Nagar and two neighboring slum communities are part of the Oscar Foundation's football program. Thrice a week, for two exciting hours, two coaches train these youngsters. Trend dropouts, including Anil, have so far returned to school. and it is hard to figure out how many are staying on because of ashok and the power of football in 2009 ashok won a cnn ibn real hero award and with it a cash prize after taxes of 3.45 lakh that's when my parents realized i was doing something worthwhile ashok smiles my father said he was proud of me Ashok invested some of the money in a fixed deposit for Oscar Foundation and registered it as a trust. He also bought a computer for the kids, purchased more football equipment and rented a tiny room in which some of the children receive extra tuitions. Happy with the way things are going, Ashok has lately been shifting his focus on girls as well. offering to teach them football having seen my boys parents are actually sending their girls to play over the past few months 20 girls between the ages of 10 and 16 have been learning the game through oscar and nearly all of them now attend the school regularly slowly but surely a change is taking place inspired by ashok a few more football and school group modeled on oscar and have sprung up in ambedkar nagar and its two neighboring slums ashok rathore is scoring higher goals